Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in Denver, Colorado at the DJI Airworks uh, show. It's the second year they've had it, about 600 people talking about commercial applications for drones. It's not consumer, this is not fun, it's not movie making, but really all the commercial applications in construction and public safety, et cetera. So we're really excited to have our next guest. He's David Lyman, the co-founder and CEO of BetterView. David, great to see you. Oh, thank you. So uh, for people that aren't familiar with BetterView, what's your basic, uh, basic business? Yeah, so BetterView is a platform for inspecting buildings and properties uh, using drones. Um, we also pull in other forms of aerial imagery like satellite, um, aerial imagery ca captured with manned aircraft. Um, but all of it is to, to be able to understand the condition of uh, a property, the buildings on it, so that action can be taken on it, risks to be identified. So I assume you work for insurance companies, underwriters, you know, all types of inspectors who, who need some physical data to validate the condition of the property. Yeah, that's right. We do, we do both pre-loss and post-loss inspections uh, for the insurance industry. We have okay. a few other customers as well, but that's, that's the, you know, the bulk of our business. Okay, and this is, not, this is not a new business, right? We've had title reports forever and ever and ever. So yeah. how has drone, drone technology, DJI specifically, kind of changed the way you guys operate, really opened up new opportunities. Yeah, certainly. So the, the, when, when we started the company two years ago, or three years ago, uh, with my co-founder Dave, he was coming at it from his family's business, which was a commercial inspections business for the insurance industry. And they send inspectors on the interior of buildings to identify risks like, uh, you know, is the life safety systems in, in good shape? Is, are the sprinkler systems? Uh, electrical panels, uh, so on and so forth. But one thing that they were missing and insurance companies kept coming back to them for was better roof data. So about 30 to 40% of the property losses that are paid out each year by the insurance industry are roof related. And 30 to 40% yeah. of the losses roof related. Yeah, and it's about 100 billion a year um, in, in total losses. So. It's, uh, because it's, it's leakage, or I mean, what are, what are like the big losses that well, come that, that that they don't see? I mean, re replacing roofs is expensive, but right. also you have loss of business, you have um, loss of contents, and so yeah, when the roof fails, it's uh, it, it creates a really big problem. And so when there's not enough information on the underwriting side, everyone's kind of taking market risk, and and they're not able to actually resolve problems before they become right. catastrophes. Right. So so David tried out a few other things like roof poles and. Giving everyone a ladder, but that seemed like you know the, the there was neither one of them really solved the problem very well. Because so it's, it's a classic dirty job, design. right? Yeah. People fall off of roofs, they fall off a of ladder, Absolutely. so that's like really a big a big deal. Yeah, and it's time consuming as well. Um, and and then the drone has the ability also to get up there and take a lot of imagery very quickly. So you're getting much greater uh, amount of data to, to actually analyze. So that's interesting, because some people say, you know, can it get enough resolution? Yeah. But I suppose on the other side, A, you can shoot a lot, but you can also get under the eaves and places yeah. where a physical inspector probably just can't cover you know, sure. every single square inch of the roof. Yeah, look, there's always cases where we still need to send an inspector out in a very small percentage of the time as a follow-up, but uh, the drone is just a great place to get started. Uh, and, we, and we actually find that using aerial imagery even before the drone um, is an even better place. You know, start there, because that's relatively less expensive. Right. Um, the drone allows us to get up very close, you know, a few feet off the roof. We can identify small hail um, and, and other types of, of, of problems. And then if you find something that looks that you can't quite get a, a full read on, then then send out you know, somebody to get up on the roof. And that, right. that ends up being a much smaller percentage of the time. That's interesting because you said you've got a whole you know portfolio of different visual uh, tools you can use from satellite to overhead airplane flights to to drones, to people. So it's yeah. pretty interesting that you can apply whatever the right application is for the right problem. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we haven't always had, we've, we've kind of over time added more and more data. We're really there to solve the problem of a lack of data around these buildings and properties. And so, you know, as we've continued along this journey, working with our customers, getting their feedback, we've been able to better solve the problem okay. and, and found, you know, additional data points that are helpful. But the drone ends up just being, especially as the drones, you know, the, the, the resolution of the imagery gets higher, um, the collision avoidance sensors allow you to kind of get close but not hit something. Right. Uh, all of that's really helping 
uh, the, the drone be a more and more effective tool every, uh, you know, with every new release, you know, every year. So what's the biggest benefit, do you think? Because I can think yeah. of, you know, one would be, you know, kind of accuracy of the mapping, because obviously mm -hmm. you have software you can make sure you cover every space. Is yeah. it efficiency that you can do more at a time? Yeah. Is it, uh, you know, what, what is the biggest benefit of using a drone application in this, you know, long time historic business? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, it depends on, it depends on the situation, right? So um, we have a big, uh, insurer of churches called Church Mutual, who they have some very challenging structures that they, they inspect, right? So looking at the steeple, um, and in that case, you know, it's just the, the alternative is getting a cherry picker up there, or, you know, quite frankly, or not looking, right? It's just too uh, expensive to take a look. So that, that's, you know, one example there. When you have a catastrophe scenario, um, like a hurricane, you know, in Florida recently with Irma, uh, the, the benefit is that you can see a lot of properties uh, and much more, you know, in, in the same amount of time that you had. Right. Um, so, you know, you, there's, that allows the companies to process claims more quickly and more accurately. And then kind of generally speaking, what's great is that we capture such a comprehensive data set. We're getting really up close and we're, and we're capturing hundreds if not thousands of images of, uh, of, a, of any property that we go inspect. And so that creates this record that if there's ever a conflict in the future, uh, you can you can deconflict the situation. And we're actually trying to get our customers to be more pro proactive in using all that imagery um, and, and offering it up to their customers, you know, the, the insureds, um, so that they can really understand why a decision was made. So you're just creating more transparency. Right. So a lot of conversation in the keynotes about about autonomous operation. So uh -huh. obviously, DJI spent a lot of money. That the things basically fly themselves. You're just yeah. telling them where to go. Yeah. How much of your inspections are done with an operator, or do yeah. you see a future where you basically point it at the building and it could figure out what it needs to do from there? Yeah, I mean, I absolutely see a future uh, like you described. You know, point it at the building, go fly it. Where we are today is somewhere in between. You know, we started out purely manual flight three years ago. Now we have partially autonomous, partially manual, and very quickly getting to fully automated flight. And, and what that does is just continues to drive down the cost of these inspections, which allows them to be done more often. Right, right. So the net, net kind of, where, where we end up in all of that is, uh, you're just going to see a lot more decision making being data driven over time in the insurance industry and beyond uh, around these buildings and properties than, than it ever has been before. Data-driven, automated, software-based decision-making, right? right? We see it everywhere. <laughs> All right, David, well, thanks for stopping by. David Lyman yeah. from BetterView. Uh, enjoy the rest of your show and uh, you. appreciate your time. Oh, hey, my pleasure. All Thank right, you. he's David Lyman. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from Airworks 2017. Thanks for watching.